I am not sure if I'm for giving bailout money to corporations that uh, that the corporations can do, use to do corporate stock buybacks. Um, but I am for loaning them money that allows them to do corporate stock buybacks that sort of settle the price and then they can issue the stock again later. Um, but am I? Because what if someone's been kind of reckless in the way that they've issued stock? I don't know. Um, but what I do know is there are certain critical industries that we need to protect. And if we're protecting certain critical industries, it's like, well, oh, you need to survive? You my bitch now. That's what I would say to Tesla. But actually, I wouldn't say that. I'd say, what do you guys need from me? You guys are awesome. You're in charge. You can do it exactly how you think you should do it, except um, you should go talk to this guy at GM, and these people should get together, and these people from Ford should get together, because if I'm going to have to bail out multiple companies, not just loan, but actually bail them out, then... I want ownership, and if I want if and, 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 and if I have ownership, I'm going to share those patents and trade secrets because um, who thinks that trade secrets are more important than patents? But I don't know about that. I'm not I'm not an expert, but I feel like um, old car companies have super duper trade secrets, and um, that's why I almost would be like, well, we need to go buy out Toyota, you know, but just between Ford, GM, and Tesla, we could have a super duper power company. And that's why I'm saying that the government shouldn't just bail them out because they, they need to be bailed out. And Elon Musk wanted to go private at 420 a share. Uh, go talk to Donald Trump. He can go, he can negotiate with you, but um, you know your shares are gonna collapse at some point, I think. Um, and that your company is not very sustainable in the long term and so you know you kind of want um, a sugar daddy that is the United States government and um, you can stay in charge and the companies will be separate and they'll be run separate but um, doesn't mean that you guys can't have lunch dates and talk about your corporate trade secrets together so um, that's what I'm for is the government um, is going to buy uh, uh, or the government's going to have an umbrella company and the government's going to say, okay, under my umbrella company, there's this solar pan panel company because you guys are going out of business because no one has money. All right, I'll buy you. Oh, we're going to go buy a share of this company because you're, you're going out of business? D do you think that certain oil companies might go out of business? Probably. That's the thing. And um, if we don't keep pumping here, can that be a problem? Especially considering the precarious situation we're in um, with countries that I mean I don't know does China like us because I like China and when I saw the spokesperson from from the Chinese military say that um, it was our military who released it wait it wasn't from the Chinese military it was a it was a spokesperson from the Chinese government but the Chinese military kind of controls the government because Xi is in charge of the military, but um, all I'm saying is when I saw that accusation, I was like, all right, really? But then I haven't seen it repeated, but just seeing it once was like, really? Um, I don't know. I, 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 but at the same time, it is what it is. I gotta go.